if you could imagine going to Disneyland on the fastest, scariest ride, times it by a hundred, every day was unique, living around a master genius. He was a consummate eccentric artist. His personality was over the top. He always had great stories. He kept you captivated. He is and was an amazing artist, genius. Raphael, Peter Paul Rubens quality painter, sculpted like Michelangelo. With an IQ of a 191 was it was measured at, he had an emotional state that was, if he wasn't crying, he was screaming and yelling. So you were either running for the hills or you were laughing and giving him hugs because he was larger than life. Lorenzo always said art is a communication. Uh, you know, if you couldn't verbally express things, you can always draw it out. And every piece he did had a story to tell. It was fun to sit behind him while he was painting it and, and literally watch his approach to it. In question of what he did and how he created it, he'd often go to sites, take thousands of photographs, sit there and look at the clouds, feel the weather, feel the energy. The theme set that my father typically surrounded himself was the outdoor wilderness adventures and then biblical and historical depictions. You see an artist who paints ships. You see an artist who does marine wildlife. You see an artist that does abstraction. And they're all stylized and they're original. That's what I love about that. Lorenzo was original, but could do everything. That was amazing. You, you don't see artists that have that prolificness. And when you look back on what stood out, imagine getting commissioned, grab the King James Version of the Bible and just paint it. He did it in a biblical epic called Theater of the Universe that was over 100 feet long. Every time I had a doubt of my father's ability, I would open that book and go, wow.